Hey guys, welcome to December. Um, I had a uh, had a coaching student ask me a question the other day, and uh, I, I referenced her to my web page. And uh, one of the reasons I did that is because I've been kind of living by a, a personal code for a little while, and it's three little simple rules. And there's a lot of times when I'm I'm at a seminar, I'm at an event, I'm at a workshop, and I'm just kind of sitting in the back listening. Now sometimes I'm sitting in the back just listening just to see what's going on, to see how I can contribute, but there's, you know, my, my personal guideline of should I contribute. So here's what I do. I actually ask three questions when something comes up, especially if it's something that I'm not sure if I want to contribute to or not. So the first question I ask is I ask, is my input going to help or hurt the situation? And if I believe it's going to hurt, I'll usually just sit there and quiet because I really just don't want to add anything negative to the conversation. Um, if I think it will help, then I will often give my input. This is why a lot of times when, you know, I'm sitting around and there's a lot of conversation going on and I'm just listening, I'll say something and, uh, you know, it'll be something I feel is important is because I believe it will help the situation. Now, the second thing that I... Um, usually consider is should I versus can I uh, so when I was in the military and corporate one of the things I learned there's a lot of things that you can do you know I can walk up and punch you in the face but should I so always weigh should I with as much weight as can I just because you can doesn't mean you should yes you can buy that latest marketing product but should you did you make use of the last two, three, four, ten products that you bought? If the answer is no, then say, hey, should I do that? And maybe say no. And, you know, that might mean that you, you won't, won't buy anything from me, and that's fine. Because I really want you to get value out of the stuff that you, you purchased from me. So if you haven't gotten any value out of the last five, Either it's because you didn't take action or it just wasn't something that resonated with you. So always focus on what resonates with you. Now the next question I ask is, will my input contribute to a positive end result for all involved? So if it's for me only, the answer is no. If it's for one person only, the answer is no. So I really try to limit my input into what will contribute to a positive end result for everyone involved. Now there's two more bonus uh, guidelines that I go by and these are usually folks most favorite because you get this all the time especially this time of year when family is trying to guilt you into coming over oh you need to come over I haven't seen the kids in a while well guess what the road goes two ways hey you need to call me why don't you call me well why don't you call me well, because you never call me. Really, seriously, is that your answer? <laughs> anyway, um, so guideline number four, if you're keeping score here, is uh, never do anything out of guilt. Well, really try not to. Because, I mean, think about all those times you've done things out of guilt. How well have they turned out, either for you or someone else? It almost falls back on the can I versus should I thing. But really strive to not do anything out of guilt. I mean, the quickest way for you to get a wall up between me and you is to try to guilt me into doing something. Because the minute I feel that guilt trip coming on, my, my doors are shut. You got nothing. We're done. Now, we can continue on in other avenues and we can talk, but the minute you throw a guilt up, boom, done. Walls closed, never going to happen. Don't care what it is. So, another thing is spite. Now, a lot of times we get caught up on the converse side of, of guilt, and we act out of spite. So we'll do something and we'll say, you know, because of this, I'm going to do this. You know, some kind of spiteful act. So really just number five is don't do anything out of spite either. You'll, if you follow these, these guidelines, if you follow this personal code, then your life will get a lot easier. So I, I invite you to try it. Should I versus can I? Uh, does it help or hurt? to give my input and does it contribute to a positive end and then overall just say uh, yeah, am I reacting out of guilt or am I reacting out of spite and just weigh all that see how it feels now sometimes you'll you'll move on and you'll do it guilt or spite regardless but I guarantee if you start using these guidelines in your life your life will change for the better talk to you later